Today I'm riding in Cumberland and I've made my way up to Blueprint. Rolling into Blueprint. It's a blue flow trail with some jumps built in if you can hold your speed. This is my first ride on it. It's not a very steep trail, so getting the speed for the jumps has to come from hard pedaling and fast cornering. On this one, I keep it pretty mild to get a feel for the trail, and then I do it again with a little more speed. Pedaling back up to do it again. Rolling into blueprint. Conditions right now are really dry, so holding speed in the corners is difficult. It's not the moist brown dirt that magically keeps you upright that you typically find in the Pacific Northwest. Woo! Alright. Ooh, that was short and sweet, baby. I know I said that the last time. After two laps on the short and sweet blueprint, it was on to Chunder. Rolling into Chunder. This thing's supposed to be pretty gnarly. It's a double black trail. Woo. Oh yeah. This one was good and spicy. It was a noticeably longer descent than the other trails I've gotten on in the Cumberland Forest Network. On the rides I've done here in the last few days, I've kind of felt like the trails are really short and sometimes lack elevation in the gravity feeling, so it was nice to get on something that really pulled you downhill for a good period of time.
Oh, I'm loving this. Right, what's up here? There's like a big drop. Yeah, it's a pretty massive send. Uh, it does not have my name on it today. I guess you could roll it. Let's carry on down the B line, which is a uh, pretty steep, rugged B line here. I'm gonna stop to look, look back at this drop, yeah. That thing is pretty massive. If you do that drop, let me know in the comments for sure. Couple lines, we got a drop here. Woo. Oh, that landing there is gnarly, rugged. We get some little jumps in here. Okay, and Chunder leads us into Prohibition. Carrying on from Chunder, you go right into Prohibition. This was another good one too. There's a pretty good sized rock roll at the bottom of the trail with a bit of a funky turn at the bottom of the rock roll that I wad up on. Continuing my streak of crashing.
Okay, so big rock face coming up here. Ooh. After watching the video, I see the cause of my crash was a loose stem. If you re-watch it, you'll notice that my front wheel is already twisted sideways before I've even started falling. After getting back up here, there's not much trail left to go before I'm back at the trailhead.